Well, I am out today spraying out in the pastures trying to keep uh, this, which is leafy spurge. You know, when you look how tall it is, and that's after I hate it. Uh, the one thing about leafy spurge is that it, it springs back very quickly after you hay. So you got to keep after it or it actually ruins a pasture. Nothing will graze if there's leafy spurge in there. Well, they say some sheep and goats will, but they kind of pick around. They don't really care for it either. So I spray twice a year. Like here, you can see there's a spot where the spurge, after I'd hate it, is coming back. So it shows up very quickly so it isn't that hard to get it again. But if you leave that go and let it go to seed, you get a mess. It'll completely ruin a pasture. Now, I don't like the spray. This is the only spray I use on anything. This is 2,4-D. They make, you know, fancy, more expensive sprays to take care of it, but uh, they're kind of still experimental, really. In fact, uh, that plot of land on the other side of the fence belongs to the state college, and they had a contract with a spray company to test out uh, that plateau, which is one of the new ones that they use. And I'd have to say it worked, but I know after I talked to the woman that was in charge of the project, she said, well, they really didn't know how much to put on, so they put it on way too heavy, like 10 times more than it needed to be the first time. You know, they play around with that stuff. They They really don't they really don't understand it. But this brought to mind back when uh, it was like three years ago I saw somebody out spraying Roundup in a grain field just before harvest and I couldn't figure I had never seen such a thing. You know, but the idea was you spray it to kill it so it's all dead at the same time so you can go in there and straight combine it. You don't have to swath it. Well, at the time I was just appalled. I, I didn't think they did such a thing. You know, because that Roundup, now there's a big squawk about it. You know, that all the residue that's in the food chain. Well, it doesn't go away. You know, you, you spray that on a crop. Two or three days later, you combine it. It goes right into the system. There's no way that that never goes away. You know, and they say, oh, it's perfectly safe. Well, no. <laughs> you know, it's just silly. All they did was they, they changed the amount that's allowed, you know, that turns up in the product. Well, nobody else in the world will buy our grain anymore because of that. No, just silly. But this was years ago that I told people about it. And people, oh no, it's perfectly safe. Well, they're finding out now, no, it ain't safe. But I know even when I was a little kid one time, I saw there was somebody out spraying a bean field. And it was these edible beans. And they were spraying them to kill them so that they could combine them quicker. You know, and you you lose less. It doesn't get hauled out and stuff. But uh, even as a little kid, I was thinking, well, this can't be good. You know, how is this going to work? You know, this stuff doesn't go away. Those companies have way too much power, those, those chemical companies and the seed companies. They have so much influence in Washington. It's just a shame. But that's where we end up with a horrible mess in our, our food chain. But like I say, other countries, they don't want to buy from us. Yeah. And it's just a matter of laziness, like that spray in that, that grain field that time. 
You know, it really puzzled me because I'd never seen that done before. Normally, you know, you go out there and swath it and it lays in the row and, and then you come back later and just pick up combine it. But no, they want a straight combine. They want to get it out of there quick. So, that's where you end up with that in your food chain. But I know at the time when I said it, people, oh no, that's perfectly safe. That's funny, but man, they gotta they gotta tone down them those companies. You know, even when I spray here now, I I don't. You know, two four D has been around for a long time, and it's it's adequate to kill this stuff if you keep after it. So like I say, twice a year I go out and spray it with this little it's a little boom sprayer that fits on. And I carry all. And just runs off the battery. One of them Fimco things. But I, I, I just can't believe that you know it takes that long. You know this has been going on for so long, and they're just finally catching on that well, maybe maybe this isn't a good idea. But yet, we don't understand why people don't want our products. But man, they gotta do something about that. You know, sometimes it's necessary to spray, like for this leafy spurge, because otherwise you'd have nothing but spurge. But that just, that spraying as normal part of your procedure, just because it's a little more convenient, yeah, that's a horrible idea. That they really need to, to shut that down.